All right, folks, saying goodbye to Helene in this tropical outlook. However, despite that, we have a remnant low here. We have a new problem that might be emerging here in the Gulf over the course of the next several days here. This has a 50% chance of development currently. I do anticipate that number to rise. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a chance that we may see yet another U.S. impact and this might be heading over towards the Florida region once more. We don't know what exactly will be ahead for this system, but we do need to be watching this very closely here. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. Alright folks, this is what's left of Helena. What's well, been the bane of many people's existence in recent time, including my own, because I've missed two days of work from this, is finally a remnant low now. And this is still causing shower and storm activity across the Ohio Valley, parts of the southeast, especially over towards Florida as well. Although the shower activity is nothing like what it once was. We're finally seeing this come out, but unfortunately, I see this right here, which... A lot of people are screaming at the top of their lungs no and I'm honestly with you on that but there is some good news to be had with this right now so a little bit of model disagreement and then also to go along with this there is only a 50% chance of development we've seen plenty of times this year where we've had areas up to about even 80 to 90% chance of development and nothing came of it fortunately I don't think this is going to be one of those instances but we can always hope though there's still a chance we're trying to find a way to have a positive spin in all this because we've been we have just got slammed with a major hurricane we really are hoping not to see another here but based off model data and I don't like being the bearer of bad news here but I do see a low beginning to form during the middle part of this week and what ends up happening with the environment here is the wind shear ends up becoming pretty light and as a result, also with this uh, troughing that we have here, it's a special type of trough, it's called tropical upper tropospheric trough. It's going to push this back out to the east here. So fortunately, it does look like another landfall is indeed possible. And we'll still maybe have to watch for other areas later down the line based off of our tropical data here. The reason why I'm not mentioning these other storms as much right now is because all of these are expected to head out to sea except for that one system. As I've said many times in the tropical looks before, the 60 degree west line is always a point of interest. If you're anywhere west of that, the only place for storm systems to go from that point is land. So with that being said, all of these storm systems, especially during this time of year with the typical pattern, which you can actually see here again with the uh, with these wind shear model here, a lot of these storms are going to get pulled out to sea, so not much an issue. So I know you saw Hurricane Isaac over here, Category 2, heading out to sea. Joyce, same thing, heading out to sea, not really an issue. And our next name storm, which will probably end up being this feature that's right behind here, it's not even an invest yet, will be heading out to sea most likely. Real question mark is going to be this system here in regards to what it does I don't I won't even speculate on what the name will be just yet here we aren't here to really cause any sort of panic but we are trying to raise awareness here because I know this last storm Helene was a gut punch for a lot of us here so because it formed quickly and then it strengthened very rapidly as of course uh, you can also look towards the top right corner where you can see the temperatures over towards the western Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico here still pretty warm there is some upwelling that was done by Helene but I don't think this will be enough to really slow anything down and the water looks like it kind of recovers pretty quick from the looks of it here but as we continue to go forward we'll have to watch this and this GFS operational run has this getting pretty strong here from the looks of it this will be pushing its way towards maybe a category three once again so very alarming signals here and then also alarming for me personally is that this might be going towards my area again and we definitely do not need that like i said i've missed two days of work because of helene i do not need another tropical system to be putting my income in stake but 
in any case though after that an interesting thing to notice here is that the gfs has this pushing all the way into canada through the ohio valley and northeast so this time no one looks like they're going to be exempt from this one northeast really got spared of any sort of impacts from helene but if this does come to fruition this particular run ohio pennsylvania with west virginia watch out so another interesting thing to look at here is going to be the 10 day ensemble run that we're looking at so we start to see this develop by i would say tuesday onward here greatest chance of development really would be more so towards thursday and a lot of these models are kind of favoring another florida impact and this is why i'm very concerned about that and i hate like i said i hate being the bearer of bad news it sucks but considering what i'm seeing here and how reliable these were for the last hurricane of course it's definitely something that we need to be paying extra close attention to like i said this isn't a shoe and the storm system hasn't even formed yet so there is a chance that we might get lucky let's hope that that ends up being the case here there's also a few models that push this over towards mexico so while we don't necessarily want our latino friends and or latino and latina friends to be impacted here if it does impact mexico it'll be a weaker storm as well so i think of all the outcomes that actually might be the best here and that sounds so bad really because i don't want anyone to be affected by a storm period really at this point it's been a pretty crazy season all in all and well seeing something like this definitely uh definitely kind of makes me wince a little bit here so if you're anywhere on the western coast of florida here from panhandle to peninsula here even the keys need to be watchful over the next 10 to 12 days here but that being said we'll have update videos soon but until then take care have an awesome rest of your saturday sorry to be the bear of bad news all of you that were impacted by Helene, you guys are my thoughts and prayers, and I will see you in the next video.